Good evening. Good evening to you, sir. Can I help you, sir? Well, I hope so. My name's Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. Uh, I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I I'd like to ask you a few questions. My son is dead, Mr. Shelby. I have nothing more to say. The killer has kidnapped another victim. A ten-year-old boy. Like your son, Risa. I have four days before we find his body on a deserted stretch of wasteland. No one did anything to save my son. Now, please do move along, sir. I also lost someone I loved. I know what you're feeling. Then you will understand that I do not wish to talk about it. Oh, do you sell inhalers? I'm all out and at least I won't go away completely empty-handed. In the back of this door, to the right. Thanks. Can you... there we go. Good evening, sir. Are you looking for something in particular? Give me what you got in the register. Don't fucking try anything. Open the register, you dumb fuck. Put the money on the counter. Shit, are you deaf or what? Are you gonna open that fucking register or not? No, sir. You do not have the right to steal that money from me. I have worked very hard to earn it. You cannot have it. What did you say? You're out of your fucking mind, man! You don't get it, do you? I'm gonna put a fucking bullet right between your eyes if you don't do what I say now! You shall not be robbing my re Fuck! Drop it! Now! I wasn't ready for that. Don't move! Hands up! Put your fucking hands up or I'll shoot! Don't panic. Let's just stay calm. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Uh, we're all just gonna be cool, and everything will be all right. Yeah, yeah. I'm cool, man. Everything's gonna be all fucking right. You don't really want to shoot anybody, do you? I'm sure we can find a way out of this mess, right? Uh, my name's Scott. What about you? What's your name? Andrew. My name's Andrew. Look, it's not worth it. Put the gun down and just walk away. You giving me advice? I'll give you some fucking advice. You're not a killer, are you? You just want a few extra dollars. No blood on your head. Oh, I'm not a killer. I ain't no killer. Now, I want you to put the gun back in your pocket and quietly walk out of the store. My friend and I will forget about what just happened, and you'll have earned a second chance not to fuck up your life. What do you say? And thank you, sir. I don't know what would have happened if you had not been here. Well, at least I didn't come by for nothing. Have a nice day. When my boy, Razor, disappeared, I received a letter with a locker ticket inside. Inside the locker, I found this box. I do not understand what it means, but I think it must be a sort of message from the man who took my son from me. 
Can I? Please, take the box if it can be of any use to you at all. It did not help me to save Reza, but maybe it will help you find the other little boy. Mr. Shelby. I was beginning to think that there was no good to be found in this place. I can see now that I was wrong. If I try to stay busy, it might actually help me get to sleep. Who's there? Do you want to die? Okay, why was this an option?
I think my control is busted somewhat. Because it doesn't respond properly with stuff like this for some reason. Like anything interactive like that, it just bugs out. For whatever reason. I swear that shadow just moved. It's freaking me out. Girl, get a grip. The door's locked tight, and you're home alone. Goddamn insomnia. I'm totally exhausted, but I just can't sleep. Yeah, I don't think that's insomnia anymore. Okay, there's got to be someone in here, right? Right. No. Okay. The fridge door. I'm sure I closed it. Come on, it couldn't have just opened on its own. I mean, it could have, maybe. Possibly. Oh my god. There's someone here. There's someone in the apartment. The phone, on the desk. I could call for help. The front door. It's the only way out. If I can reach it, I still have a chance. Jesus, why? Die. Can I kill you? What? Oh, don't, don't stab me, please, please. Don't stab me. No, that's that. Oh, no. 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 Yes. Wait, there's more than one? Okay, this is not fair. Okay, this, this, this is not fair. 2v1, this is fair. Back up! Get away from me! Back the hell up! Yes, throw the TV on the ground, not near them. That's totally gonna work. Ow! 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 Okay, what is going on that you guys are so desperate to kill me for? Am I like XCIA? What in the world? No, okay, well that's just a dream. Alright, cool. It was all just a dream. I swear to God, if that actually ends up happening, there's a problem. No? Good.
Why are there people outside my house? Like, leave me alone. I killed my own kid. Probably. I don't even realize it. So, fun, fun, fun. When the parents came home from church, all their children were gone. They searched and called for them, they cried and begged, but it was all to no avail. The children have never been seen again. I have to get out of here and find out what this ticket is about. I'm the origami killer. I black out, and then the murdering starts. I know it's me. The origami figure in my hand after my blackout. It's the same one the killer leaves in the hands of his victims. I've never done origami in my life. That letter might be linked to Sean's disappearance. I need to show it to the police. Black and gal again. Cool. No? Gonna, yes? Gonna have to make it through the crowd. I can't can't take crowds. Just can't handle it. Oh. I I can't make it. Too many people. Too many people. Don't die or faint or whatever. Uh. What? What? Again, is it gonna work this time? Why does it work sometimes and sometimes it doesn't? Oh my god. Pennywise. Dad, where are you? Or not. Jason! Dad! Jason!
Oh, well. I can knock you guys over at least. Jason! I want all of you to fall. Jason! Jason! Why? Okay, it's not fair that you get to walk through stuff. I think those three people are supposed to be stuck like that. Just saying. Line 18, box number three. Things are opening. Box. What's the connection with Sean's disappearance? Um, I don't know. Good question. A gun. Cool. Prepare to show courage to save your son, Joe's Garage and Parking Lot 4988 Roosevelt Avenue, Lexington. Uh, okay. Cool. Sean. Where are you? 
I'm so cold. Dad! Dad! How far are you prepared to go to save someone you love? Eh, depends. Five origami figures. Each figure is a trial. Each trial provides letters. The letters reveal an address. Ah, uh, okay, cool. killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He doesn't act on impulse, but plans his crimes in a very meticulous fashion. He doesn't have anything personal against the victims. That's why he covers their faces with mud, to make them anonymous. Why does he kill them if he doesn't have anything against them? For him, they're more of an image, a symbol. That's probably why he gives them an origami figure and an orchid as gifts to apologize for what he's done to them. Very interesting. And where does all that get us? The best way of tracking a predator is to be familiar with his behavior. That may be true in novels, but there's a child's life at stake here. Continue, Jaden. One detail attracted my attention. The interval between the time when a victim disappears and the time when the body is found ranges from three to five days but the rainfall is always at six inches, give or take 10%. What on earth does that mean? All the victims were drowned in rainwater. The killer kills only in the fall when there is plenty of rain. It could be that he puts them in some sort of well or tank that is open to the skies and that fills up with rainwater. The more it rains, the less time the victim has to live. Then I studied the geographical distribution of the murders. Generally, a killer commits his first murder near to where he lives, so he has a safe place to flee to if any complications arise. The more confident he becomes, the further he roams from his base. By analyzing the locations where the victims disappeared, I was able to isolate a zone where the killer might live. And what size is this, uh, zone? For the moment, about 10 square miles. Ah, oh, great. There must be 10,000 people live in that sort of area. You gonna question them one by one? The more clues we get, the more we can reduce the zone. We can then cross-check it with our list of suspects and identify the killer. So what's next? There are two suspects whose psychological profile might fit and can be connected to the comfort zone. I'd like to question them. Ah, damn it. We're wasting our time with this bullshit. The killer's out there somewhere, and we gotta get off our asses and find him. The killer is no ordinary murderer. He is intelligent, organized, and methodical. You won't find him by patrolling the streets. Tell me, Agent Jaden, did you get your vast experience on the job, or did you just fucking read about it in some school book? Your vast experience hasn't prevented eight victims from being murdered. Fucking asshole! That's enough. You said it took six inches of rainfall before the victim died. Oh, that's How much the time rain. do we have left? Oh. If the weather forecasts are right, less than 72 hours. I said that's what like the little rainfall indicator at the bottom left of the screen is. Ah, well that's what it's for. Okay, that makes sense. No answer. We waste our time coming here. 
Maybe we should have a little look inside anyway. There's nobody home. There is now. I'm well, not sure that's entirely legal. Call the cops. I might. <laughs> Looks like Nathaniel Williams is a pretty religious guy. He's a God-fearing idiot, waiting for the end of the world. We questioned him a few months back because he was causing a disturbance in the park. He was ranting and raving. Said he heard voices. Had this idea in his sick little head that I was the Antichrist. I had come to Earth to persecute him. Real twisted. Nathaniel Williams is our prime suspect. He's already been questioned, and he lives in the exact geoprofiling zone. All the signs of a mystical obsessive neurosis compounded by a persecution complex. The guys taking a break from reality hold up here in this crazy apartment. It's stifling in here. Those windows haven't been opened in years. Oh, well. Hmm. This place is nasty. You don't have to be a profiler to see he's not a killer. We're wasting our time here. Can we leave now? Okay, I guess we can't leave yet. That's, that's cool. Or maybe this is what we're doing. Good timing, Nathaniel. Just the man we're looking for. Angels and ministers of grace defend us. I'm Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. I'd like to ask you a few questions. As God is my witness, I haven't done anything. I'm innocent. Relax. Nobody's accusing you of anything. We just want to talk. Why all the crucifixes? Are you afraid of something? The hour is nigh and the wrath of God shall strike men down. I am preparing for the end of the world. Nathaniel, do you remember where you were last Tuesday at 4.30 p.m.? Here? I was here. I was praying. All day. Was there anybody with you? No. No, I was alone. Where do you work, Nathaniel? You have a job? My sole occupation is praying to the all-merciful Lord for the salvation of humanity. What about the voices, Nathaniel? Do you still hear the voices? We know who talks to you, don't we, Nathaniel? Or we both know who talks to you. Don't speak that name. I've got to do something. What does he say to you, Nathaniel? I can't talk about it. You mustn't talk about Wait, it. Wait, what are you doing? He orders you to go and find new prey, doesn't he? He needs more That's enough. and more. Leave him alone. No. 
No! You mustn't mention him! You'll bring him here! Okay, he gets stuck. told you to go find that kid in the park. The voice Maybe Blake knows what he's doing after all. You wanted them to stop, didn't you, Nathaniel? Stop! Stop! Shit! Blake is totally out of his mind. I can't just stand around and do nothing. You took that boy with you and you drowned him. Isn't that right? No! Stop! Stop! You killed them, didn't you, Nathaniel? Are you gonna confess, you bastard? You are the Antichrist. Put down the gun, Nathaniel. I shall Nathaniel. smash you to your father in hell. He is the son of Satan. He was sent to earth to destroy shoot, us. For Christ's sake, shoot! I... I shot him. Oh, uh, well, uh... Yep. Looks like you did. Can't say I'll miss him. Uh... <laughs> Come on, let's go. I didn't mean to push R1, I meant to push box. But, um, okay. Whoop. That happened. That's, that's great. I think you need a new car, sir. No answer. Baby screaming inside. Not a promising start. Susan Bowles. Mother of the origami killer's latest victim. Maybe she knows something about the circumstances surrounding her son's death. I should have a look around. There should be another way to get in. Baby screaming and no answers? Don't like the look of this. Ah. Asthma free for the moment and loving it. Good old inhaler in my pocket, just in case. Hello, housekeeping. Anybody home? Oh, Jesus. <sighs> Wait a minute. This is Bolt. Hello, little cutie. Who? Oh, you looking for your mama? Yes, you helped. Come on, I have to search the house. Maybe it's not too late. Mr. Bowles? Mr. Bowles, are you there? She committed suicide, didn't she? It's a bad I always assume the worst. Yeah, probably. Oh, shit. Well. Mrs. Bowles! Back up! Mrs. Bowles, can you hear me? Wake up! Wake up! Well, that happened. What a great day. I'm gonna call an ambulance. No, I... I don't want to go to the hospital. Please. Okay. You got something around here I can dress this wound with? Yeah. I think so. 
Okay, don't move. I'll be right back. Wait, I wasn't listening. Where am I supposed to go? <laughs> Need some bandages and disinfectant. Gotta be here somewhere. She should have some bandages in the bathroom. Well, it's time to turn back around and go back this way. Oh, these camera changes keep screwing with me. Jeez. <laughs> Let's see. I need this, and this, and this. Stay with me, Susan. Susan, do you hear me? Susan, stay with me. Can you hear me? Stay with me. Okay, come on. There, I done what I can. That should stop the bleeding. Well, luckily the wounds aren't too deep. Hey, how are you feeling? My baby. My baby needs me. Right. You stay there. I'll take care of the baby. Okay? Don't die while I'm gone, okay? You know what to do? With a baby, I mean. I'm a private eye. There's nothing I can't do. <laughs> Convincing. Her name is Emily. Gotcha. Mommy will live for now. Let's see how Junior's doing. It doesn't look like your hands really go in the water. Can I just go ahead and take the bottle? No. If I have to come back and get that bottle, I'm gonna be a little mad. Hi there, Emily. So, what seems to be the problem, huh? Oh! Going by the smell, I got a pretty good idea. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How do you do this again? <laughs> Time for finger gymnastics. There you go, fresh new baby. That should feel better. Right, Emily? Hmm? Hey, what's the matter? I thought we solved the problem. Maybe she's hungry. I guess I better warm this thing up. Of course. Now I know why you're crying, my little peachy poop. Mother Shelby to the rescue. Maybe she's hungry. Oh yeah, no kidding. Oh, Emily, are you hungry? 
Hmm? You hold on. I'll just tilt this bottle a little bit so you don't choke. Don't vomit, please. Oh, good job, Emily. Hmm? You're feeling good now, right? <laughs> now, I'm gonna rock you very gently so you can have a nice little snooze. Okay, all right. Well then. Thanks for looking after my baby. I didn't want to leave her. I just couldn't cope anymore. Just not having Jeremy around. He was such a good boy. I can't understand why anyone would want to hurt him. Do you take care of this baby on your own? Doesn't Jeremy's father live with you anymore? He disappeared. The day after Jeremy. I don't know what happened to him. He's the killer. Maybe... Maybe he couldn't take it. Ever since I've had to look after Emily all on my own and... I couldn't do it anymore. I understand. Did your husband say anything before he disappeared? Did he leave a note or something? No. He left the house without a word and... There was just a cell phone. A cell phone? Yeah, I, I found a cell phone in his dresser. I'm sure... It wasn't his. I'd never seen it before. I tried to turn it on, but it didn't work. Do you still have it? Yeah, it's, um, it's in a drawer in the living room. You can have it if you'd like. I'm sure it's of more use to you than to me. Do you have any family or anybody to help you? Yeah, my mother. I didn't want to ask her for anything. We don't really get along. But I guess I'm out of options. Well, look after yourself. And Emily. I will. I promise. Okay, that was a pretty bad frame drop. Either that was bad frames or that was just bad animation. Either way, it was disgusting. <laughs> I hope someone besides Donovan gets that. And a loud baby. Good luck, Emily. You take care of your mother. So can I just like leave now or? Can I leave? Alright, bye.
No one die, okay? Things upside your head.